everyone i'm so excited to share with you all this beautiful floral shabby three-tier cake and yes it's not a real cake it is an altered storage cake and it's come out absolutely adorable this is probably the third time i'm filming i tried in my craft room i've tried um, in my living room and i think this is the best solution i've come up with it is pretty huge so um it's been really difficult to film so I hope this goes well and I hope I can get it uploaded today at some point um, and I've just been really excited to show you how I've um, altered these round three tier boxes and in fact I have got a photo of how it looked before I altered it so I'm going to show you that before we go any further and this is how it looked and these are three boxes. It's a pack of five actually, and this is the three sizes that I've used, and they're from the work. So from that to this, and it's come out so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And I will be storing probably handmade flowers in the boxes. So what I'm going to do, this is just an overview. I'm going to have some photos up in um, on my Facebook, um, but I just wanted to show you how it looked like this, and then I'll show you. Um, how it looks close up so you just have to bear with me because I am going to be moving you about and showing you different um, angles of it so I'm just going to carefully move you closer and I'm gonna I'm actually sat on the floor believe it or not I'm sat on the floor trying to film this and I hope it goes well because I don't want to film this again <laughs> so this is the top layer and you can see it is pretty large and I'm just going to lift it up and show you all the way around it as well. So I've used some of my favourite laces and my favourite um, papers and the papers are from, I'll put this down actually, the papers I've used on um, the boxes are from Lemon Craft and I think it's the My Wedding collection. I'll just turn it around to show you the papers and they're all in these beautiful shades of pinks and greens and light blues very very feminine beautiful colors so here you can see I've just closed the box I opened it earlier on <laughs> um, I'll show you the top layer first and then I'll work my way down to the bottom so you can see I've covered the top layer in this beautiful like a rosy kind of a paper and the laces I've used are all creams whites and off whites along with some pearls so here I've gone in I've gone a bit closer. So on the top layer you can see I've gone in with some beautiful white lace and then I've gone around the the edge of the bit um the lid with this beautiful scalloped lace and then I've trimmed it with some pearls and on the base of that box I've used two different sizes of pearl strings and these are in cream colour and I've done the same on this um, layer here. For my flowers, I've just made a huge cluster on the top using this beautiful flower from Annie, who's Miss Garden Grove One. Hi Annie! And um, she has an Etsy store where she sells these beautiful um, like beaded sprays and things. So Annie sent me those a while ago, which I've used on there. I've also used some Wild Orchid Craft flowers. I've used um, some Prima flowers. I've used some flowers from um, different eBay sellers. I've used some, so there's paper flowers, there's organza flowers, just loads of different mishmash of flowers and all that coordinated with the papers. And it's just so big um, and on this side you can see I've tucked some leaves just to pick up some of the greens and I've also used some um, bouquets from Ula La Vintage Treasures hi Doreen if you're watching and also some resin pieces as you can see on the back as well as some of these fillers and just some twisted um, wire and I had to top everything off with a few butterflies which I punched out using some Martha Stewart punches and at the end of putting all the flowers down I have gessoed um, bits and pieces and made it um, a bit more shabby looking. At the base of the flowers there is doily there and there's another silk flower here which I've gessoed. 
so that is the top layer I'm gonna put this back like so so um, I've created some dangles on the side here using some different laces and pearl trims just to give it a bit of movement because I love doing that and on the inside I'll just take this off they were luckily all pink which was great because I didn't want to um, paint the inside I was getting a bit um, quick at the end and I just wanted to finish it so I was so glad it was already pink so I didn't have to do anything to that so that goes on like so on the second tier gonna move this like so on the second tier um, I've just gone sideways to the left and created a similar cluster using the same colored flowers and um, just alternating the color of the butterfly so the top one's pink then this one's green and I have scattered a few around as well in different colors I've used more, more of the beaded sprays just to give it that full look more of these um, stamens from Wild Ocker Crafts um, some ooh -la -la vintage treasure flowers and some organza flowers at the bottom here and some of these like bridal kind of uh, flowers and on this second layer down so basically this is the top of the second layer and I'll show you the bit bottom of the second layer in a second and um, you can see I've gone round with a few more of these punched out butterflies and I've put some bling in the centre of each of the butterflies and again same thing with the pearls um, this um, lid the second box lid has two different types of lace so there's like a floral little rose one and a little dangle one along with this like a trellis rose one not a rose a trellis flower one so I love this kind of a trellis look and if I go around the other side there's another butterfly there and then there's some more tucked in leaves here there and everywhere and then the bottom of the second layer is this bit here you can see I've done the same thing and I've used one of these silk flowers on each of the sections where there's a cluster of flowers so these are really pretty and it's in a very pale peachy pink color and I have gone in with some um, snow text and give it some of that shabby kind of a look and um, I've also added some pearl um, these loopy pearl things and um, more of them pink beaded sprays from Annie and some more of the white organza leaves tucked in here there and everywhere and different types of leaves and roses and again over here I've gone in with some more of the stamens okay so and that's the second tier the final tier the biggest one I'll show you the laces first I love I love 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 the lace on this I love that ornate lace and then this is a beautiful beady trim that I had sitting in my little hoard box of trims so I decided to use it on this box because this is a very special project and I'll be obviously keeping it for years to come hopefully um, so I've used that there I've used this beautiful lace here and then another small white one there with a tiny pearl trim on the top of that and I've gone over with a dry brush of gesso and just gone over it to give it this muted kind of a look and some of it you can see the pearly look and then there's a butterfly here I've gone around the base with this pearl trim again I've done the same thing with the dry brush just gone round and then on this side there's a scrunched up butterfly <laughs> Um, there's another butterfly there in pink and then I'll show you the flowers that I've used so I'm just gonna zoom in a bit maybe not just lift it up and show you so here I've used the same kind of flowers just a repetition of what I've done on the top but widen the cluster a bit so it just fills up the space a bit more so I used more flowers more of the um, the leaves some more of the stamens and fillers more of the beaded sp sprays from Annie's store and this beautiful white organza bridal kind of a trim not trim sorry the leaf and organza flowers 
so it's really really pretty i'm just going to put this down a sec and i'm going to open up all the tears and show you so this is the lid from the top tier and the second tier the the um lid comes off with the first tier attached to it so it's like a hat and it's all pink inside and then the second tier comes off with the base of the last looks like this and then this is the final tier there and I've just painted the bottom of it in white and I've just realized I missed something out and I haven't painted the inside of this bit which I'm gonna do probably after this video to finish it off so I absolutely love the way it's come out it's gonna put it all back how it was so I've designed it where the flowers are kind of like in a scattered position so they're not all in a straight kind of line so I mean you can have it however you like I just liked it um, all going to a slant then this one will be here it's just offset and I can't wait to put some of my handmade flowers in here okay and then this last bit with the dangles will just fall off the edge there and there it is Oof. so this um videoing was a bit of a mission because it's such a large project and i'm just gonna show you again how the full thing looks and I'm just so 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 pleased with it I love it and um, it's just come out really great I've loved using all the colors because um, these are some of my favorite colors I love using pinks and whites and creams love using pearls so these pearl strings were great to use on here in fact the large ones that I've used going across the tiers and um, they're actually vintage pearls and they're quite heavy so it was great to just use on the base and not on the edge because they are round. They might have just fallen off the edge. But it's come out beautiful. I love it. And I hope you enjoyed watching. And I hope I've inspired you. Let me know what you think. And um, leave me a comment below to let me know what you think. And I have actually uh, just taken some pictures which will be going on my Facebook. So if you're on my Facebook page or you're a friend on Facebook... Um, check out the photos they might be a bit clearer i'm sorry it's been a bit of a messy video it is quite big so i didn't know how to film it best but um i think i did an okay job and i just enjoyed using my favorite lace and trims and um some of my favorite hoarded flowers that i've had from um doreen star from ula lavender treasures as well as annie hi ladies again and thank you so much for the goodies that you sent me and um yeah that's it so once again thank you for watching let me know what you think and i'll see you soon with another project very soon so take care and happy crafting bye